Hi everyone, I'm Dan Fullerton, and today I want to talk to you about heat transfer. Our objectives are going to be to explain heat as the process of transferring energy between systems at different temperature, and also to describe three methods of heat transfer. So as we talk about heat, heat is the transfer of thermal energy from one object to another object due to the difference in temperature. This is typically accomplished through particle interactions, collisions in which momentum is transferred from one object to another. Typically call that conduction. Now energy is typically transferred from higher energy to lower energy particles. And after many collisions, both systems of particles likely have the same temperature. Because the particles comprising objects have a distribution of particle velocities and energies, on the microscopic scale, this transfer of energy is a probabilistic process that we model using Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics. So methods of heat transfer. Heat can be transferred from one object to another by three different methods. The first, conduction, is energy transfer due to the particles comprising the object colliding. As those collisions transfer down the object, the average kinetic energy of all of those particles becomes more and more similar, and you get a uniform temperature throughout the object. You have transferred heat from one end to the other. In convection, the energy transfer is due to heated particles actually moving from one place to another. So the high kinetic energy particles actually moved, not just their energy. And radiation is energy transfer through electromagnetic or EM waves. Now, heat transfer by conduction we can model by looking at the rate of heat transfer, capital H, which is measured in joules per second, which of course, as you know, is a watt. So the rate of heat transfer is equal to this constant, the thermal conductivity of some material K, times A, the cross-sectional area, times the change in temperature or the temperature gradient across the object divided by the length of the object. And different materials have different thermal conductivities. Something like aluminum has a very high thermal conductivity, 237, while something like concrete, glass, water have much lower thermal conductivities. Let's take a look and see how we would apply this. Here we're going to look at the rate of heat transfer through a window. Find the rate of heat transfer through a 5 millimeter thick glass window with a cross-sectional area of 0.4 square meters if the inside temperature is 300 Kelvin and the outside temperature is 250 Kelvin. Well, the first thing we have to know is the thermal conductivity of glass, which we could look up, is going to be about 0.9. So the rate of heat transfer, H, is that thermal conductivity times the cross-sectional area times the temperature gradient, delta T, divided by the length. Or in this case, 0.9 times 0.4 meters squared times our temperature gradient is 50 kelvins divided by the length, which is going to be 5 millimeters or 0 0.005 meters, which is going to give us about 3,600 joules per second or 3,600 watts. Let's take a look at one more example. One end of a 1.5 meter long stainless steel rod is placed in an 850K fire. The cross-sectional radius of the rod is one centimeter, and the cool end of the rod is at 300K. Calculate the rate of heat transfer through the rod. Well, again, we have to start off by looking up the thermal conductivity of steel, and we're gonna use a value of about 16.5. We also need to know the cross-sectional area. Well, area is pi r squared, so that's going to be pi times our radius, 1 centimeter or 0.01 meter squared, which is going to give us 3.14 times 10 to the minus 4 square meters. Now we can find the rate of heat transfer. Heat is K, heat transfer rate is Ka delta T over L or 16.5 times our cross-sectional area, 3.14 times 10 to the minus 4 square meters. Our temperature gradient, 850 to 300, well, that's going to be 550 kelvins, divided by the length. 1.5 meter rod gives us a rate of heat transfer of about 1.9 joules per second, or 1.9 watts. 
Hopefully that gets you a good start on heat transfer. Nice, simple topic, nice and straightforward. If you need more help or looking for more information, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks and make it a great day.